Welcome back everybody. Today I have another easy slow cooker recipe for you. So let me show you how to make lasagna tortellini soup. So these are the ingredients that you need to put this recipe together. You need minced garlic, sugar, frozen cheese tortellini, Italian seasoning, garlic powder, a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, tomato soup, a can of tomato paste, um, petite diced tomatoes, salt and pepper, and I have half a pound of ground beef and half a pound of sausage. You need one pound total. And then not shown here is four cups of beef broth. My nine month old has definitely found his voice, so this video will be a voice maker. But we're going to get started by heating up a nonstick skillet over medium heat, adding a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, and then adding our two meats. For this recipe, you can use all ground beef, you can use all sausage, whatever you have on hand. This is one of my favorite utensils in the kitchen. It is a meat chopper, but I use it for a multitude of different things in the kitchen. So it's available at most kitchen stores, but I also have it linked below in my Amazon shop if you are interested. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop this up so that it's all small pieces and you just wanna cook it until it is browned and cooked through completely. And browning the meat is pretty much the most labor intensive part of this recipe. We're gonna add everything into the crock pot and then just let it cook. If you have a lot of extra grease from your ground beef, you do wanna drain it. Um, this was very lean, so I didn't have to. But we're gonna go ahead and dump our ingredients in. So I'm adding a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, a can of tomato soup, a can of petite diced tomatoes, and you do not have to drain those tomatoes. You can add it all in. We're gonna add one whole can of tomato paste. You need one teaspoon of just regular sugar. This is just to balance out the acidity from the tomatoes. You need one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Next, we're gonna add one teaspoon of garlic powder. And half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. You wanna add in one teaspoon of salt and two teaspoons of minced garlic. You can use the jarred kind like I am here, or you can use fresh chopped garlic, whatever you prefer. And then you wanna give this a good stir. and we're gonna add in four cups of beef broth. As always, I will have the entire recipe listed below with instructions so that you can copy and paste or screenshot it um, so you can have it on hand when you need it. So you want to give this a good stir and then that is it. You just want to let this cook and this will make your kitchen, actually this will make your whole house smell delicious. You want to put your lid on your crock pot and then either cook it on low for five to seven hours or high for three to four. And this particular day, I actually tried out a new recipe for crusty white bread in my Dutch oven. So good. So this had been cooking for I think seven hours at this point. It smelled so good and you wanna give it a quick stir and then 15 minutes before you're ready to serve, you wanna add two bags of frozen cheese tortellini.
Just for reference, these bags of tortellini were 12 ounces, so if you get a larger bag, you may only need one, but you can add as many or as little as you want. And as you can see, I was not careful about adding the second bag in. I got it all over my wall, so definitely be careful adding these in. Don't be like me. So give this a quick stir, cover it back up, and then you want to put it on high for 15 minutes. And after those 15 minutes, it is ready to go. So I served this with grated Romano cheese on the side. My kids love adding cheese to anything. And I just turned the crock pot off and gave this another stir and it was ready to go. I served this with a side of the crusty bread that I made in my Dutch oven. We had a side salad and then just served this up in bowls. It was super simple. It was really nice because I had a busy day this day and it just cooked all on its own. That's why I love crock pots. And this was super delicious and everyone in my family loved it, including my five and my seven year old. So that we will definitely be making this one again. So like I said, we just served this with some Romano cheese. You can use Parmesan cheese, sprinkle that on. And then just to make it pretty and to add a little bit of extra flavor, I added some ripped up cilantro. Hopefully you guys will give this one a try. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you love crockpot videos like I do. And make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube family. I would love to have you join us. And hopefully we will see you in the next video.